talk, let's talk five ways your perception and core beliefs around money and business can impact how much money you actually make in business. So let's get into it. So there are about, there's probably tons of ways that your core beliefs and your perceptions based on what your perceptions and your beliefs are can impact your business and your money. But I want to talk about how some of the things you believe, maybe from childhood, maybe from trauma, maybe from just the way you think are impacting how much money you're making inside of your business and how successful your business is. The first one, and I'm going to be looking at my notes, do not judge. The first one is your understanding and your beliefs about delegation and automation. So many times, especially newer entrepreneurs, we feel we can't afford to hire other people and that if, if we can't afford them, we have to do it all ourselves. And that's simply not true anymore. I mean, you can work with people across the country, across the world, who might have a different price point. And now with people feeling very comfortable and all of the apps to monitor people working from home, the price point is very different. And you really can create a extremely successful business by yourself because some stuff, some money, some opportunities are gonna be left on the table just because you don't have the capacity. So understand what you truly believe about hiring. And I know for me, I had really great assistants before the pandemic and then we had a really hard time hiring people who were quality like we, we had a really like we were running through some people and then now we're getting back on track with people that have worked with us and stuff like that so that can also create a belief like oh people you know you keep hearing in the news people don't want to work yes they do there are broke people out there are people that need to pay their bills who have the skill set that you need in your business waiting for you to give them an opportunity that's your new belief. The second thing is your finances. Somewhere along the line from birth to, you know, the tomb, <laughs> you have adopted a belief about finances that has caused your structuring to be a mess, your business structuring, your finances to be out of order, your taxes not to be filed, you not having the proper bank accounts or enough bank accounts. And if you need more information about that, Money Management Entrepreneurs talks about all the structuring that you need. That's my book. I put it, uh, I put my website in the comments somewhere whenever we finish. Um, but you need to make sure your finances are in order. You can't go to the bank and get a loan. And, and we, even the way you look at loans, you know how many loans I've taken out since I started business that have really helped us get to the next. Sometimes it's not even about a float. We passed a float. We're, we're getting to the next level. So sometimes having more, um, resources, financial resources at your disposable, at your disposal can help you go a lot faster in business and get bigger. Equity immediately, instead of having to work for it, work for it, save for it, now I can, you know, do more investments quicker. But you can't do any of that if your structuring is out of order, your finances are out of order, you're not properly managing the money that you're making. Can't do any of that. So, your understand your beliefs about finances, and make sure you get that in order or hire somebody to help you or read the book I just told you about to help you with that. The third thing is you think that you shouldn't take time off. And I'm not going to lie to you. When I first started in business, I probably didn't take time off and didn't vacation. One, because the money was a little scarce. And then two, I was really trying to get the idea out of my head, out into the world. So you may work a lot more. But there was still jogging that I did, going to the gym, walks, playing with my daughter, taking her to the park. Like there still needs to be some kind of work-life balance and not symmetrical balance. I don't know if I've had symmetrical balance in years. But some kind of, okay, I'm going to work seven days straight and take one day off. Clearly that's not balanced because seven and seven would be an extreme balance. But some kind of balance for you. Like, okay, I've been working for two weeks straight. I need to take two days for myself. 
And what you'll find is that you actually will create better opportunities that way because your mind is thinking outside of the business versus scrambling and trying in the business. So get rid of the perception that you can't take time off or you must be working around the clock in order to make your first couple million. You do need to be putting in the hours. You do need to have a strong work ethic. But you also need to have a strong sit-down ethic or you'll be sick and you won't even be able to spend the money once you make it. The fourth thing is understanding, a true understanding and belief about continual learning. Some of you are working so much without any time off to where you don't even have time to read, listen to a podcast, get a coach, go to a conference, and that's the people who really need it. There are some things you don't know. And if you also have the belief that you can't hire, then you don't even have people with a certain skill set coming to help you. There are some things you don't know that you need to know in order to take your business to the next level. Whether you hire, whether you read it, whether you go sit and learn it somewhere or all of the above, you need to have a cycle and a system in your business for continual learning. Once I finish one book, I pick up another. In the mornings or throughout the day, I'm listening to podcasts and audiobooks. I'm watching YouTube. Like, there is a cycle of continual learning. And I don't just randomly... Now, this is a mistake I think people make, too. They just randomly listen to all this stuff. So, it really may not fit together properly for what they need. Decide on an area. This is the area that I'm focusing on right now. So, I'm going to engorge your information for this area. You need to have a system, just like you have a system to collect money for your products. You need a system of continual learning throughout your business. And then the final thing is, who are you hanging with? Like, this can really affect, impact, and damage your beliefs about business and money and your perception about what you can have, who you hanging with. Because you will have some haters in your life who will say stuff like, oh, you doing that again? Oh, why would you do that? Trust me, I have experience with it. You hang around with those people enough, then you're going to be saying, oh, I shouldn't do that. Oh, I shouldn't do this again. You're really going to start playing it very small because they're playing it small, so they can't even see your dream. You need to hang with people who want what you want and who have more than what you have. I think those are the two main groups. People who are here with you and people who are higher than you. You can, you can know people who are not in those two places, but you shouldn't spend a whole lot of time with them because who you spend the most time with is who you're going to share a lot of your understanding with and y'all are going to have a similar net worth. So I think I'm going to sit that right there. So those are the five out of the plenty things that really need to be dealt with about your perceptions and your beliefs in order to have a more efficient business, better operations, tighter systems and funnels. And I'll give them to you again. You need to have strong delegation and automation skills. You need to be willing to hire people, train them, and place them properly in your business. And you need to also build automations whether you hire or whether you figure it out yourself. We can coach you on that. You need to understand your finances, where you are, where you want to be, and what that looks like for your bank accounts, your taxes, your EIN, your structuring. All of those things need to be tighter. You need to start figuring out what a work-life balance looks like for you and create one. Get you a massage, a pedicure. Like once a week, go drink coffee on the, the river. I don't know. Create a system, just like you have systems for payroll, systems for selling your products. Create a system for continual learning inside of your business. And then decide what your network is going to look like and, and create that. So I'll talk to you next time. And for those of you wanting more information, visit my website, drshikasquare.com. We have all types of goodies and a really good course operations mastery. So I'll talk